All right, so um, this is the lathe project. Um, right here is my CAD file. It's not completely updated, but um, basically it's an epoxy granite uh, lathe. You got kind of the main body casting and then a secondary headstock casting. And then uh, kind of within that, the, uh, the whole spindle assembly is embedded in the headstock. And then linear rails for the main ways and for the uh, cross slide. The tool post and stuff isn't really modeled, and same for the tailstock, but that's okay. Um, let's see, I'm in the garage, so hopefully this is all visible. Um, so this is the main body casting as of right now. Um, there wasn't much of a settling problem. That's actually one of the aggregate sizes. I had to switch from a dark colored aggregate to light of the same size halfway through pouring so it just transitioned but it looks really terrible um but yeah that's why that looks so weird right now i'm going and slowly flattening uh the first this insert um i haven't done much of anything at all to the other um this is a half inch by four inch by i believe 40 and a quarter inch piece of hot rolled steel. Um, I've gone and just taken the straight edge. I've got it flat to about two thou-ish, except for the very end where it drops off real severe. But um, same kind of thing as um, I saw in one other video taking just an angle grinder, just coming backwards strokes, uh, diagonal kind of like normal hand scraping. And then just using the uh, surface plate and some Prussian blue to get an impression. Um, I just could not get a hand scraper to actually work on the steel. Maybe that's my bad technique or something else, but I was just having no luck at all. I was just making these scraping um, very well. <laughs> um, just making like sharp little line looking cuts in the steel and didn't seem to be doing anything productive but this has been reasonably effective so far at least it seems to me um and then over here i've got the uh, headstock casing um the headstock casting um you can see the uh there's a half inch uh, wall by, uh, I believe it's like five inch diameter uh, tube in there where I used the lathe at, uh, at school um, before I graduated to cut out the, uh, the two slots for the tapered roller bearing uh, outer sections. And so they're both compression fit in there um, the rest of the spindle is uh, put away right now just to not get too much dirt and I'll clean that real thorough. Hopefully that works out. I don't want to deal with replacing those if something goes wrong. Um, for the epoxy granite, this is actually the remnants of the vibration table that was cut apart. But it's basically, um, basically just a long piece on springs on this end and sitting on the ground on the other end with a motor over here to just bounce it up and down and then the casting was sitting right above the springs and it actually seemed to work pretty well um i believe this was about 11 percent epoxy by um by weight and there really are very few voids or very few very big ones um this was a four component mix um and then just used uh u.s u.s composites um epoxy um yeah so that's basically uh where we've got to so far um i'm gonna try to get this rail on this near one and then uh, use that and put an indicator on the little car and ride it up and down 
and then scrape the other one in um, to get them nice and parallel. And then I really need to figure out, this is a not updated version, so these aren't uh, linear rails in the CAD, but I need to find a good way to get those perfectly square to the main way as linear rails. It's kind of my main concern right now. Um, but uh, yeah, the, the current plate that I have for the cross slide is one and a half inches thick, uh, just steel, um, which I, it seems like it should be more than sturdy enough. Um, I didn't really do much of a calculation I did like a beam deflection equation and I think it deflected some ridiculously tiny amount under like 200 pounds cutting force that I was assuming. Um, yeah, uh, it's going to be a CNC lathe. I probably should have mentioned that. Um, and then there's just going to be a closed loop stepper here and here for the um, power feed in each of the uh, two directions there. <clears throat> And then, um, excuse me, sorry. On the back here, I'm going to have a rotary encoder uh, running with just probably a little tooth pulley on the back here. Um, and then I can feed that, I guess, into an Arduino is uh, the current plan. If I can't figure out Linux CNC or some, some of these more fancy looking uh, programs. Um, and then, uh, feed all that in for power feed in different directions and probably run it off this laptop. It doesn't actually have a working battery anymore, but if you keep it on the charger, it still functions. So figure it's probably good for this because I really need to get a new laptop anyways. Um, yeah, that's, that's most of what I got. Um, still just going along with that same hand scraping uh, technique and um, it seems to be working pretty well. <coughs> I've been getting pretty good contact. Um, I can get almost this whole section, maybe up to about here, is uh, almost fully uh, blued uh, when I just use the surface plate to get kind of a dye impression on there. Um, and it gets a lot worse at the end, but still working. Um, yeah, so uh, let me know what you think. Have a good one.